Now that you've gotten your body facing the net, we're going to focus on how you recover back to the middle of the court. There are a couple ways you can recover back, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the simplest one of those, which is called the side shuffle. What the side shuffle allows you to do is move in one direction, but change directions very quickly. So in other words, I could be moving to my left, but still go to my right very easily. To side shuffle behind me, now that my upper body is facing the net, to side shuffle back, I step out with my right foot and then bring my left foot in. My feet will never touch. And then I bring my right foot out again and my left foot back in. And I could do that forever if I wanted to. If I wanted to move to my left, I would step out with my left foot now and then bring my right foot in and then step out again with my left and bring my right foot in. From a slightly different angle, this is a shot of me side shuffling up and down the baseline. And you can see when I move to my left, I step out with the left first and bring the right in. And it's the opposite when I'm going to my right. I step out with the right and now bring my left foot in. I mentioned in the previous section that the side shuffle allows you to change directions very quickly, but it's not the fastest way you can get back to the middle of the court. Assuming I'm moving to my left and that's the middle of the court, the fastest way to get there after I hit is simply to turn and run. That will get me back to the middle faster than side shuffling and it will also allow me to cover the other end of the court more easily than side shuffling back. But the problem with doing that is if I turn and run, my opponent just has to hit the ball behind me and it's very hard for me to stop, turn around, and get back out there. More than likely, I won't be able to get to the ball. So side shuffling will allow you to stop and move back out very easily. You are giving up a little bit of the other end of the court. You're not getting back quite as fast, but there isn't even a, a comparison in terms of the, the benefits of side shuffling versus not side shuffling. You need to side shuffle back. You need to change directions, move anywhere on the court as fast as possible. And it's not as important to get back to the middle as fast as possible. Being able to change direction is the most important thing. The last thing I want to talk about is that you need to work in your split step with your side shuffle. Specifically, you want to hit your split right before your opponent makes contact and you're going to do that coming out of your side shuffle. So behind me, we've got a hitting clip. And after I hit the ball, I'm recovering back, I'm going to side shuffle, and then I hit my split step as my opponent hits the ball back to me and then I move out to the next ball. So that's key. The side shuffle, again, because it's kind of like a moving ready position, is going to put you in position to split step at the appropriate time. And again, that's not something you'd be able to do if you were running back to the middle of the court. It'd be much more difficult to split step and be able to move explosively around the court if you were running. So make sure you're side shuffling when you're recovering back to the court and that will allow you to split.